Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be talking about the most iconic red manicures in Hollywood history. So to start out, I'm going to talk a little bit about the history of the red manicure and how it became so iconic. During the Second World War, women across America were building tanks, planes, and ammunition and they were doing it all in the colors of stars and stripes. Blue overalls, red polka dotted headscarf, and it was the era of Revlon's cherries in the snow. And Rita Hayworth was known to be one of the first women who popularized red nail polish. After the introduction of Technicolor, Rita's bold nails launched a polish movement. And this didn't happen again till much later when Uma Thurman brought out the vamp nail trend in the 1990s. It was during the 1950s, however, that our obsession with red nails cemented itself into popular culture. Glossy red nails became the epitome of Hollywood glamour, and stars like Rita Hayworth and Marilyn Monroe were seldom seen without matching red nails and lips. Cosmetic companies were only too happy to help us replicate this trend, and in 1952, Revlon launched what was possibly one of the most successful beauty campaigns in history. The launch of their iconic fire and ice nail varnish and lipstick meant that we could all have a little piece of luxury and glamour in every day. It was popular then and it remains just as popular today. Red is strong, red is powerful, and red is sexy. Women through the ages have recognized its appeal to the opposite sex and it is the ultimate statement maker. I have a long list of different photos of some of the most iconic red manicures from different films and just throughout history. And I'm just going to start in no particular order showing you some beautiful old Hollywood inspired manicures. So first on the list is Marlena Dietrich from 1937 and this is an iconic photo of her showcasing her beautiful red manicure. And next on the list is Joan Crawford, and this is another photo of her with her long red manicure. And after that is Lauren Bacall in 1950 with her manicure. And after that is a nice photo of Natalie Wood from 1965 with her iconic red manicure. And then from 1972 we have Liza Minnelli, and she's also wearing a red manicure. And then we have Dolly Parton in 1978, and she is also wearing a beautiful red manicure. And then there's Cher from 1981. Then we have Lana Turner in 1984. And then obviously Princess Diana is so iconic, I wanted to include her in here, even though she isn't an actress, but she's just so iconic. And her red manicure is featured in 1992. And then of course we have Marilyn Monroe, in 1953 and then there's Elizabeth Taylor in 1955 and then we have Dorothy Dandridge in the 1950s wearing a beautiful red manicure and then there's Lucille Ball from I Love Lucy and she always had her red manicured paired with her strawberry blonde hair and crimson lips and of course there's Rita Hayworth in 1941 in the movie Blood and Sand and Rita Hayworth and Marilyn Monroe are said to have the longest nails in Hollywood. And then in 1974, there's Faye Dunaway in a neo-noir film in Chinatown where she has this beautiful shiny red iconic manicure. Then in 1974, you have Barbara Streisand in Funny Lady, the sequel to Funny Girl, where she had the long red manicure. And then you have Olivia Newton-John in 1978 in her rebellious red manicure and red lips in the film Grease. And then there's Joan Collins in 1980 and she is wearing a red manicure on Dynasty. As you can see, the red manicure has been around for a long time and it really hasn't changed. It's super iconic. It is one of those things I think red knot nail polish will always be in style. It's kind of a classic and as you can see, it really remain the same from the 50s, the 40s, all the way up until the 80s and the 90s. And now to get into the exciting part, Vintage Doll Cosmetics has new glue on nails and these are acrylic nails that you can easily glue on and create your own quick five minute old Hollywood manicure in the comfort of your own home. And I started out 
gluing on my own nails once the pandemic hit and I couldn't go to the nail salon anymore. And I so I'm one of those people that just isn't good at doing my own nails. I've just always had a hard time painting them. They just never look good. They always chip. And I always had a hard time growing them out. And I just was like, kind of came to the conclusion that I'll always just have ugly nails. And then I discovered glue on nails and I really got into it, but I couldn't find any really nice old Hollywood inspired ones. And that is why I came out with the Vintage Doll Cosmetics glue on nails and these nails are super easy to put on they only take a few minutes and they last up to two weeks depending on how much glue you use and they're really easy to remove you just soak them in some warm water for a few minutes and then they pop right off and then you can clean them and reuse them as much as you want and then you have a beautiful manicure in the comfort of your own home there are two shapes there's a longer more classic old Hollywood shape, definitely inspired by Marilyn Monroe and Rita Hayworth. And then there is also a shorter, more classic red shape that is also very old Hollywood. You can see Natalie Wood and Dorothy Dandridge wearing the shorter. I like both of them. It depends kind of on my mood and what I'm going for, but I like the idea of switching them up every week. And yeah, they're just really easy to use and in a few minutes you just have a beautiful old Hollywood inspired manicure. So I linked everything below that you can shop and I'm going to demo putting them on for you right now so you can see how easy it is. Okay, so I'm going to do the longer ones on one hand to show you and then the shorter ones on the other hand. The nails come with glue and a nail file. Here is the nail file and the glue. So I'm just going to give my nails a light file, make sure they're clean and dry and trimmed. And then you just go in and file them. And once that's done, then you go in and find the ones that will fit for your nail. So I just like put it out and just line it up and make sure it fits. And there's a, a few different sizes so you can always double check. So I feel like that one works really well for my thumb. So I'm going to go in and add a little bit of glue. I personally don't like to put too much glue because I find it easier to remove if there's less, but that's just me. The glue is on evenly on your hand and you don't need much, just a little bit. Just make sure you line up the nail and just simply place it on and hold it on for a few seconds just to make sure it's placed down firmly. And there you go. And it's really easy. And it looks like an old Hollywood glam nail. So I'm going to go in and just slowly do the other ones. So I'm going to look for the next one to fit my index finger and that looks like it's the right size. So you just go in and slowly do each nail. And then hold them down. about 10 to 15 seconds and there you go I'm just gonna look for one that will fit my middle finger that one looks pretty good And I try to place the glue in the center of the finger, not towards the edge, because then when you put the nail back on, the glue will come out the edge, and you don't need very much, just a few drops in the center. And I personally have experimented before, I used to put more glue on, but I like it when you have less glue, and then at once a week you can redo them and take them off easier versus putting too much glue on and then having them stuck on for too long. But that's just personal preference. If you want them to last longer, then obviously add more glue. And now I just have two more and 
we're done this hand and then we can go into the other hand. So let's find a nice shape for the index. This looks like it fits. And just make sure you hold it down for 15 seconds. And now we just have a one more left. The pinky finger, so let's see if we can find one. That one looks, it could work, it's a little big, so I'm gonna keep looking to see if I can find a smaller one. Get the perfect pinky size. I think I found it in here, and that looks like the perfect size. And then just add a bit more glue, super easy. And just hold that down for 15 seconds. And another tip, when you're done with the glue, make sure that it's all clean on the edge before you put it away. And then you can just put the lid back on. Another tip too is I cut off the end of the glue so it would come out faster because the end is sealed when you open it. So just gently cut off the tip and then put the lid back on. Make sure you sit it upright. I also like to carry an extra one in my purse. You can buy like brush on glue. I have a brush on one and then sometimes, let's say after like a week or something, one of your nails might fall off and then you can just put it back on when you are out and about and just glue it back on with the brush on one in your purse. It's super easy. And I just love the glam look of these. Like the daytime Rita Old Hollywood and these are like the glammed up Old Hollywood. So I'm going to go in and open these and just put them on my right hand so you can see. And I have a feeling my cat is going to love these for massages because they're like the perfect length. And same thing as before, just open it up and grab the glue and the file. And you basically just go in and continue on with each finger and I'll show you what they look like when I am all done. And you just follow the steps that I did on the left hand and do the same for the right. And these are the two shapes. So well, that is it for both of the looks. As you can see, this is the kind of more glammed up longer nail look and this is like a shorter nail. It's a little bit more practical because it's a bit shorter. But I do like both of them and for different reasons, but they are both the same color. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite nail polish is. Vintage Doll Cosmetics is definitely excited to come out with new colors and styles, so make sure you stay tuned, and I'll link everything below. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!